Okay, so um, someone asked me, why do I choose to cancel things as opposed to using the observer? Why? And what prompts me to do one or the other? Um, uh, I started my journey through, um, one, well, my, my journey started with self-inquiry and a teacher of self-inquiry. Uh, and also doing uh, counseling beliefs, which I got from David Hawkins, uh, who shared his experience that he had 23 of his illnesses were deleted uh, just through counseling beliefs and, and just doing the daily Course of Miracle lessons. So I was really, um, I was really on fire to get rid of my kidney failure, asthma and gout. And I, uh, and um I had trained as a hypnotherapist, so I totally intuitively understood how just um, repeating and, and cancelling over and over again a limiting belief until it disappears, I could see how that would work until it no longer exists, because I'm an infinite being. So, And I knew that would work. Uh, well, I didn't know it would work. I wasn't 100% sure, but I didn't have many options. So I did that. And in the early days... Um, yeah, there was very heavy physical illness, extremely heavy symptoms. And um, self-inquiry was not that easy unless I was in my teacher's presence or I was watching the uh, videos from my teacher, then self-inquiry was quite easy. Otherwise, the ego identification was very, very heavy at the time. Um, and so the cancelling of beliefs were much more easier to do, even though it was from much more of a dualistic, separated place. They were easy to do than to access the observer, uh, and um, but you know the, the observer when it when it was happening in the teacher's presence or with the videos watching the teacher, uh, you know often uh, yielded miraculous results where everything just disappeared and, and things didn't exist any longer. But you know for everyday life and going to twelve step meetings and everything. Uh, then it was just cancelling, cancelling the beliefs, and uh, in the background, and and there was a huge faith in Hawkins because I want, there was this great desire to get rid of all these illnesses, and so uh, whereas Hawkins had shared testimony of uh, releasing so many uh, life-threatening illnesses through cancelling, and my other teacher was really using self-inquiry for enlightenment, but not not for getting rid. Didn't share any testimony of how his physical symptoms got got released. So there was a bit of a, a thing. I mean, for me, the, the, yeah, so, uh, and even today, um, it's it's just, um, the cancelling of beliefs is very, it's like, uh, uh, how do I say it? It, 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 it there is, there's, there's knowledge that it works. There's knowledge that it works from experience, that it can, it, cancelling beliefs can clear up very, very heavy illnesses even though it can take up to three to five years to clear out a very heavy chronic illness. Um, so it's it, 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 there's the awareness that it works, um, and there's the awareness that self-inquiry works. However, it seems when there's... Um, uh, because, uh, you know, like, obviously there's a world existing, otherwise, you know, um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be appearing, the world wouldn't be appearing for me if the world had ceased to exist. So life seems to go on and so it's easier to do life with the cancelling of beliefs going in the background and then when there is um you know this is doesn't make sense when there's more free time to do just do deeper self-inquiry but the self-inquiry just you know the prompt for self-inquiry just comes out of nothing uh you know now and then uh to just disappear anything that's going on like who, who's living this life and 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 um you know, and the self-inquiry, who's having the pain, um, who's, who's, um, who is um, having, um, who's having issues with the neighbor. So that does come in, but uh, it's more easier when going about just day-to-day -day business, whatever it is, you know, like, for example, um, there is, um, at the moment, uh, uh, builders will soon be coming in to do work on the house. So there has to be a lot of uh, clearing of the house. So it just seems in not more easy to cancel and pray and surrender than it is to self-inquiry. The self-inquiry tends to, um, at this stage, be more easier if, if um, 
uh, it seems to be like self inquiry seems to be like going for the jugular. It's like if if I decide to go for uh, do some self inquiry now, it's like well let's disappear the world until the, the world ceases to exist, and let's not stop inquiring until everything has 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 disappeared. So that's usually how it happens at the moment. Um, it's more like okay let's do some self inquiry and see if we can just disappear the wor world into white light, and then when it's like well you know something is saying. Oh, you need the house needs to be cleared because um, the surveyor is coming on Tuesday and the builders are coming on Thursday. So there's a lot of stuff. So then it seems to be easier, as that stuff has been done, just to cancel in the background. Of course, the question then is, you know, am I cancelling? No, I don't necessarily would would argue that there's a me that's cancelling. I think uh, cancelling can happen without without the um, uh, can cancelling can happen out of nothing. So there's nobody actually cancelling. It's just happening in the background. So nobody cancels. So I think as as a, it's more like a, an intuitive out of nothingness. Um, it's like it's like uh, maybe described as uh, nothing or grace cancels, but it, there's no person or identity that's cancelling. It's just happening. So it's just an automatic clearing of it's like nothing clearing something until the something is nothing um uh but just uh sharing experience uh it does um the experience is that if there's heavy identification it's easier to cancel uh or it's like yeah easier in the sense that it seems like less work just to cancel it, things out when there's heavy identification and when there's not much identification it's easier to inquire or st not, not even to inquire but to stay in that uh, which is which is not an which is not an individual, not a, uh, a dualistic entity. Um, okay, I'll stop.